welcome back to the super good super delicious podcast i'm your host carly with an ey and today i thought we could chit chat a little bit about vegan celebrities and um celiac or gluten-free celebrities but the thing is there's not that much information about celiac I noticed um, so I thought that was interesting Um, as well I just like googled and went through a couple of the first pages so if anyone comes to mind or if anyone you know if any of these are wrong (laughs) let me know because some of them they just they just really have picked out from interviews where they have oh I've tried a plant-based diet for this or I, I eat vegan on Mondays like that's not what I'm looking for okay that does not count so I thought it could be interesting to kind of see and I'm sure I'm going to miss like a very popular celebrities I mean nowadays it is like everyone it's like vegan or gluten-free influencers and like those are the people those are the people that I want to follow anyways like just because someone is vegan and a celebrity that's not gonna make me follow them so yeah but I thought you know what let's see how many are there so there's a lot more plant-based um, celebrities as you will um, than there are that claim or actually have outwardly spoken about being celiac or gluten-free so we'll start with some veganism first um i didn't know quite a few of these ellen pompeo well that's how you say her name uh, meredith gray from gray's anatomy yeah i had no idea so apparently she is vegan and also let me just state that i probably would have had to put a lot more research into this to actually find out specifically when or you know if they're not that outwardly spoken about it it's harder to find information and I was not about to do that okay um I just kind of thought it'd be fun to just find a bunch and (laughs) see what we think did you know did you not know I didn't know but I'm not a huge Grace Anatomy fan either so there's that Benedict Cumberbatch apparently he's vegan uh I didn't look up what shows he's in but I definitely like he's been in oh the Avengers that's what I was saying the Avengers um he's definitely a popular actor out there I think he is British I think so oh this one actually this is the thing okay they had snagged something from a Zac Efron interview and then claim and put him on this list of vegan and I'm like you are not vegan so I did a little further research and it turns out he's not um he did try it once or whatever and it wasn't for him maybe he tried it for a certain role or something like that this is kind of what happens is they try this like a plant-based diet for um a look or whatever or maybe a competition like in sports or whatever and then they go back and aren't vegan but I mean anyone that has been on and off or vegetarian or limits their meat consumption I'm like all for that because less meat the better in my opinion so this one I know from being a football girlfriend that um, Tom Brady in during the football season when he was playing he would be vegan all throughout the whole football season Um, makes sense because it's a lot lighter easier digestible proteins things like that it's not like heavy and weighs you down like red meat can so I knew that he was a vegan girly for the football season (laughs) but um, on one of the lists his wife well ex-wife Giselle she is vegan apparently so it actually really makes sense that during the football season he would be eating vegan because if she is as well then also not hard facts on that one could be a also she eats mainly plant-based but not every single meal you know 
you know? So, and you know, surprisingly throughout these lists that I was going through, there is a lot, like there's a wide variety. There's plenty more people that I didn't even know who they were, or maybe I recognized their face from a picture or whatever, um, from like movies I've seen, but honestly from the name I had no idea who they were. And I'm like, well, it's fine. My list is very large <laughs> already. <laughs> Okay, forgive me if I say her name wrong. Um, Mayim Bialik, uh, Amy from Big Bang Theory. Yes, she is vegan and guess what? She even has a vegan cookbook that she released and I had no idea about this, which I think is so cool because I love when celebrities actually are putting their money where their mouths are and actually investing in vegan companies and actually i think leonardo is one of the most famous actually i not vegan to my belief um but super invested in veganism and like for the planet cutting out meat and stuff like that and as well i think jaden smith quite a controversial topic as I was googling because I thought he was he has vegan food trucks in LA and like they give food out to the homeless I think and he tried being vegan I guess and his parents had to have an intervention they had to intervene and um, they said he was like sick and yada yada and like obviously anyone no matter what you eat anyone can eat improperly and not and be malnourished uh, you could also have other things going on inside your body like me like being autoimmune meaning that your body's malnourished and it's not by any fault of your own other than you don't know what your autoimmune disease is so <laughs> then you end up not knowing what you're eating that's harming you okay um okay so i guess he's doesn't eat meat and dairy uh but maybe he's on the better track now or maybe he eats eggs and fit honestly i don't know but it, there was a lot of controversy that came up when i was googling it so i thought that was a little bit interesting um again all four celebrities backing vegan restaurants and things like that or or putting money into like a vegan food truck to feed the homeless like I think that's amazing so I would not you know poo poo on him um I think that's really great what he's doing as far as I know like I said did not go that deeply into researching okay um from the surface view interesting but also I like it and I don't know if he's still actually doing that there was nothing that said that he's not Ellie Golding I believe she's a singer I didn't know uh, and then Natalie Portman I know she's like largely involved with being vegan and veganism so love her love that she's been vegan for a while too I believe and um, I remember her on Hot Ones. I don't know if you guys know what Hot Ones is, but basically it's this guy. He hosts Hot Ones and he has wings and they're hot wings and then they go from like a lower level all the way up to like a super, super hot, hot, hot wing sauce. And then he interviews the guests and they eat the wings and he asks them questions and they just get hotter and hotter. And she was on there, but she got vegan wings hey so i thought that was really cool because they just totally and also i think it was like almond milk or something she had as like a cooling down or vegan ice cream maybe and i thought that was really cool that they like catered to her needs and love that love that so yeah big fan love natalie portman okay another one that was kind of weird madonna the thing is i could totally believe it but the only reason why i think it's maybe not 100% accurate is because in the some of the things that I seen was that it said that she her extreme ism about things essentially um makes it make sense that she doesn't eat meat and eggs and dairy and yada yada but 
there I didn't see anything that Madonna actually came out and said she's vegan so if you know comment comment down below because I have no idea if she's actually vegan but the thing is too with doing research is celebrities can be very secretive or they may not want to actually outwardly state how they eat and etc um, for fear of like backlash and stuff like that so um, it can be hard to find out exactly if they're not like raw raw vegan that they might be not mentioning it at all so yeah I found that interesting um, who knows Madonna could totally be vegan I could see it for sure Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus totally totally believe those two they're very much have actually said like they're vegan um, Miley I think also has a gluten allergy so she just doesn't eat either obviously and dairy I'm not, I can't remember what I saw but um, it sucks because some of these celebrities too like Miley for example has been so hated on for her body and sometimes it could just be like oh I can't eat these things and I just end up eating really healthily because of it like okay well I might as well just mow the salads and the rice bowls and you know the tofu and sometimes it ends up being really healthy for you and obviously there's unhealthy vegan and gluten-free stuff out there <laughs> don't get me wrong um, but the tendency especially when you are undiagnosed gluten ugh, undiagnosed celiac or gluten sensitivity um, it's very easy to lose weight and be malnourished as I said before and be very skinny and then people will notice that um, and obviously if you don't know then you're like it's just my body but like for me I could not gain weight at all and I didn't know why I was always like like 108 pounds and I'm like 5'3 so like barely 110 pounds like I'm like I can't just can't gain weight I was like the same build like muscular um, muscularity I was not muscular um, like I worked out the same amount or the more I worked out the less I worked out I was like the same like it seems like I couldn't gain muscle and I couldn't lose weight and I couldn't well I didn't try to lose weight obviously but I couldn't gain weight either unless I was just like massively unhealthy and I was like I don't understand like I'm working out I'm eating more like why am I not gaining weight but I was sick all the time my body wasn't absorbing the nutrients so therefore I was not gaining weight or muscle so now after it's been um, over a year and a half I guess I was able to gain weight I don't know how much I've gained but like I've now regularly over 115 pounds I don't think I've been under 115 pounds in a while so I think that's much more healthy for my body size and everything do not compare me <laughs> to you your story or anything because we are both different people but um, for me that's a much healthier weight and um, I have gotten back into running so I'm trying to get back into working out now that winter's here going to the gym and gaining some more muscle so we'll see how that goes <laughs> and um, yeah because I have a lot more energy now too not eating gluten you know eating things that your body can't digest really just sucks the energy out of you so I totally could relate to you know if people were like oh you're don't look healthy or skinny or whatever blah 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 I could totally relate to that though because now looking back I feel like I definitely look healthier compared to uh, when I was malnourished from gluten okay this one I thought was awesome Woody Harrelson and he's been in a lot a lot a lot of things and apparently there's there's more than one thing that I saw article whatever that I saw that he's been vegan since he was like 24 like and he's like in his 50s I think and I thought that was really really awesome and and 
apparently he's been inspiration for other people going vegan too so miley cyrus's ex-husband liam hemsworth i think that's her ex-husband uh, apparently he's vegan too i don't know if he still is now that they're not together it might have been like a you know it's easier when you're with someone else to be vegan um but he also i guess i don't know if they worked on stranger things together or if they worked on something else together um him and sadie sink worked on a project together and i guess that inspired her to go vegan so she's a vegan girly so i think that is awesome obviously i think all of these are awesome i don't know um yeah i think that's really cool that to inspire younger people and generation just by what you're doing another big one peter dinklage game of thrones he's also been on a lot of lot of other movies and shows and stuff like that um i had no idea but apparently he's vegan so that's really cool and um it i read one thing that was saying that he went on game of thrones i've never watched it i want to but I, it ended poorly apparently so i don't know if i want to actually get sucked in just to be disappointed <laughs> but um i saw something that said whenever he had to eat meat on game of thrones it would actually be a tofu mock of whatever they were supposed to be eating and no one noticed so <laughs> i think that's freaking cool oh yeah okay so this is another thing that i was like hmm so apparently there was saying that beyonce um is vegan and then jay-z also vegan and i was like yeah but these snippets they're taking these cherry pickings they're taking is saying that she like went vegan once before and i was like okay so this isn't a permanent thing for her and then something else that i found was that oh she eats vegan breakfasts and vegan on like mondays or something and then jay-z eats two vegan meals a day so okay i mean yes good love it but like why put her on a list of vegan celebrities that i don't understand that part misinformation okay i don't like the misinformation out here not that like on the grand scheme of things like who actually cares i don't care what anyone eats so i am all for obviously more people eating less meat but at the end of the day it's your life live it how you want but also go vegan <laughs> okay so probably everyone knows this but lizzo there's another one she's vegan She's very outwardly vegan as well on TikTok and everything. Um, one that I really like, another one re I think is more recent, Lewis Hamilton, NASCAR driver um, from, I don't know, London? I'm not sure where, um, over the pond. And he is vegan, really great, really cool. And he also backs Neat Burger, which, which is a vegan restaurant that opened originally in the UK and they have now opened in the states as well in new york and my friend not she's not my friend but um i follow her on instagram vegan bodega cat she is a new yorker and she has her own rap that is called like the bodega cat rap or something like that and it's like a a vegan chicken caesar wrap it looks so good so we love that i love that she's always promoting that them and that so i think that's really awesome that someone from like the f1 world nascar world is you know coming out and saying you know veganism and stuff so i always love when like someone from different walks of life for example because some people might think it's like oh it's because of their privilege if they're a celebrity or whatever but anyone can be vegan anyone can be gluten-free obviously certain gluten-free things are very expensive but you could be like a bougie gluten-free person or you could just be a surviving gluten-free person okay <laughs> it's possible it is possible okay Billie eilish vegan doesn't surprise me and apparently she doesn't eat gluten either i don't know if it is a an allergy or what sensitivity or what i cannot remember i don't know if she actually said because like some people 
would probably just say in interviews like oh yeah like I can't eat gluten so it's like do you have celiac or but who cares like whatever you don't eat gluten as long as it's like you're saying your body cannot handle the gluten I think that that's good to state other than just saying oh I just don't eat gluten because it's not good for me or good for you because now that's twisting things and now everyone's just going to think like gluten is bad but if you can eat gluten doesn't mean it's bad for you so I think that stating the difference is important another one I don't know how many I have here it's so many Travis Barker um, really cool he also backs some restaurants in LA uh, really cool the thing is and he has a, a CBD wellness brand or something like that and I just wonder though because he's with what is her name Courtney Courtney Kardashian I don't know if she's vegan too I think they might be I think they were in an ad for like a vegan burger now I can't remember I should have googled it but um, yeah I think they were promoting some vegan like like the impossible whopper or something like that like or some vegan new sandwich at McDonald's or something I feel like that was a thing so yeah that's interesting um, that would be I think that would be very influential for a Kardashian to well I guess she's a Barker now for a Kardashian to come out and be like yeah veganism I think there would be a lot a lot of influence around that and it would be good because there's a lot of like overconsumption involved with their lifestyles I'm not talking about anyone in particular um, but for a lot of them it's a lot of overconsumption with parties and things like that that is not cute in my opinion um, we're like living the sustainable more sustainable life over here okay so if you like sustainability it's up my alley too I'm, a, I'm like a little thrifting sustainable girly I'm definitely um, when I can afford to and I say that because this is coming from the UK okay so the amount first of all the dollar here is trash compared to the UK's dollar secondly you got to pay duties and stuff on that and the import fees and the shipping fees are like crazy okay like oh yeah it's a 25 no what did I I don't know what it was like let's say it's a $50 sweater by the time you get it here in your hands you have spent probably over a hundred dollars so when I can afford that kind of spending maybe I'll just fly to London <laughs> just kidding she doesn't have a store room but Tala by Grace Beverly we love her she's almost a celebrity I don't I assume she's still vegan but if she were to not be vegan it would be so controversial so I could understand why she would not ever say she like come out and say she's not vegan anymore but everything she does and makes it produces her whole clothing line totally sustainable love that vegan fur whatever so I do have to assume she's still vegan we'll do a couple more um, Will I am Black Eyed Peas went vegan in the past like few years here. Venus Williams, I guess she's that was another one. I wasn't sure if she's actually vegan or if she just tried a vegan diet during when she was playing tennis, and it worked for her because she was diagnosed with this autoimmune disease. So I don't know. Uh, I wasn't really clear if she kept up with the diet and she's still a diet or she's still vegan um, because in one of the things that I read it was saying that she tried she went like raw vegan and I'm like okay that's not sustainable so I'm going to just assume um, that was like something she tried so I don't know maybe she's still vegan oh yeah our girl Pamela Anderson um, of course she's like the OG vegan activist with PETA and she's your girl is still vegan she is the queen from the day one of the vegan world I would say she was one of the first to start and kick it off many years ago and be openly like yeah love that love that 
I'll end it off with Justin Bieber. <laughs> this poor man. He has so many things that he's gone through in his career, in his life. Um, I guess he has Lyme disease. That probably makes an impact on your diet for sure, I would say. Um, he is not vegan or anything like that. I don't think. Maybe. But uh, apparently he had said on one of his stories on Instagram that he cannot... He's allergic to gluten, I can't have gluten, whatever. Um, honestly, uh, having a gluten sensitivity is like very common, I think. Like celiac is one in a hundred, so I wouldn't be surprised um, if more people have like gluten sensitivities than they think. But yeah, I guess he was saying that he has a sensitivity and he is like, ugh, it sucks. I don't know if he was that dramatic, but yeah, apparently he was like, ugh, like one something else, great, kind of thing, which it can totally feel like that sometimes. So, if you know of anyone else that is doing some things in the vegan world or the gluten-free world, we need more people rah-rahing celiac disease, okay? <laughs> Come on, you celebrities, I know there's more of you out there. We need, we need some more, because uh, we need some more vegan and gluten-free restaurants, please. So I'm just going to end off with this episode. I found this place on Instagram in Denver, Colorado. Actually, they have, I think, two locations. Um, I think it's called Marco's Coal Fired Pizza, Pizzeria in Denver. And apparently their gluten-free pizza is delicious, the best. Um, and I just would love to travel to a few places because I have a saved list on Instagram that is just... I just put, I call it vegan world, but I've been putting in gluten-free places in there too. Italy is supposed to be beautiful for gluten-free, so I can't wait to travel one day and just try these places because when I went and looked on the website, because that's how deeply I investigate for the pizza place in Denver, um, they have a whole vegan venue. Not only gluten-free, vegan menu. <sighs> so exciting. So anyways, <laughs> uh, let me know if you thought this was interesting because I was like, hey, maybe this will be interesting to chit chat about celebrities, vegan celebrities, or the lack there of, of celiac celebrities out there. It is not easy to find. So, or maybe I'm wrong about some of these let me know but with that that will be it for this episode and thank you so much for listening i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you in the next episode bye <laughs>